overtime period. Phenomenal effort by Sidney Crosby, but a phenomenal effort by Jerome McGinley. I mean, McGinley was the hero in 2002 in Salt Lake. He scored the second goal and the fourth goal in a 5-2 win, and he also assisted on the fifth goal. So Jerome McGinley makes a great play to Crosby. Look at these bases. Full credit the Americans who a lot of people thought they'd be fourth, fifth, sixth here. Did you see Zach Parise's face as he got that silver medal, holding back tears? Jamie Langenbrunner, the same thing. Ryan Kessler acknowledged the crowd here in Vancouver, a hometown Canuck, but he played a phenomenal game when the pressure was on. I thought Ryan Kessler was one of the best forwards on the ice for either team during the course of this game. Guys, you can see Brian Burke in the background there, and uh, let us again all remember what a difficult few weeks it has been for Brian Burke, uh, the loss of his son Brendan, and he put together a team, the kind of team he likes, six top end forwards, six checking life forwards, and they came through and were this close to a gold medal. He put together a kind of team Canadians like too, because the, the success that the Americans had at the World Junior Championship, the, the, the way this team plays, and, and I hope that no American would take any offense at this, but Brian Burke appreciates all the best things of Canadian hockey and has made those as much American hockey. The shot blocking, relying on a goaltender, having a couple of lines that can get you big goals, having a couple of lines that will grind and be absolutely physical. That is precisely the recipe Canada used to use against more skilled and flashier Soviet teams. So a great effort by Brian Burke, Ron Wilson, and the Americans, and they're phenomenal in this tournament. And nobody gave them any chance at all to be in this situation whatsoever. When we're talking about top three teams in this tournament, Canada, Sweden, Russia mentioned, Czech Republic with an outside shot, but nobody gave the U.S. a chance. And the moment the puck dropped, and they beat the Swiss. They never looked back. They no, played they a consistent hockey game, a north-south game, a very North American type of game, and they didn't quit to the very end. I still think Ryan Miller may be the MVP of this tournament. He may not get it because it may go to a Canadian, the gold medal winning team. Well, they've already voted the media, but there's, a, there's two separate things. The director picks its awards, the media picks their awards, and the accredited media that were at this tournament made Brian Miller the all-star goaltender as well as the most valuable player of the tournament. The tournament director at Best Players, goaltender Ryan Miller, defenseman Brian Rafalski, and forward Jonathan Cage.
Scotia to Tofino, BC. That chant going up. Saw tears in Mike Babcock's eyes. He was wiping them away on the bench in the moments after that game. What a spectacle. And do not forget, with that gold medal, Canada breaks the all-time record for gold medals at an Olympic Games in the winter. Not just for Canada, for any country in the world. For guys like Steve Eisenman and Mike Babcock, it's almost got to be as much relief as it is elation. Because there's so much pressure. There's so much. Darren Payne, you grew up with Steve Eisenman. You would know better than anybody what it's all about. Yeah. And now, the national anthem. Yeah.